I decided to head back to my office. I didn't know the first thing about this kind of oogity boogity stuff. You should have seen it. I was in and out, completely unnoticed. It was remarkable. I was like the elephant, nature's most wily creature. Mr. Invisible, I presume? You can call me Partially. Partially? What kind of name is Partially? What kind of name is Klaus? My dear old mother gave me that name back in the old country. It's highly regarded. It's a status symbol. Sounds like a carny's name to me. It looked like it was finally time to teach this meathead that this dog has bark. I mean, bite, right? Wait, how does that saying go again? All bark and an overbite? From the fetal position, I can kill in 11 different ways, but this didn't seem like the appropriate time or place. Are you all right? You were out for quite some time. No, I'm fine. The only thing hurt on me is my pride. And possibly my spleen. Partially, I think we're in trouble. Thank you, Mr. Invisible. Your incompetence has made recovering our precious statue to Pazuzu quite easy. Pazuzu? Isn't that that thing that possessed that little girl in that exorcist movie? I don't care what people say. That movie sucked. There's nothing scary about a little girl with the flu. I mean, I don't care how much she spins her head around. It's ridiculous. Mr. Invisible! Stop your yammering. It's starting to annoy me. Is that so, you big freakish carny offspring? I'm too stupid to be intimidated, and you and your posse had better watch out. Because when I break free of these ropes, I'm going to bust out master level puma skills on you. Then, when I'm done, the only thing left will be your bad accent. But I don't have an accent. Ha, Klaus, you big lummox. You're a real Nancy. In fact, all I need to take you out is one little finger. I'd love to stay and laugh at you some more, but I have more important things to do. Good day. They took the statue into the ceremony room, but how are we going to escape? Don't worry. I always carry my trusty pocket knife with me. Well, this one little cut, and in moments we'll be free. What happened? Don't worry, Madonna. I've heard of amazing feats performed by ordinary people. Times of crisis. You know, like mothers lifting cars off their children and such. I'm just going to have to tear through these ropes with my bare hands. Quit playing around! Let's go! How did you get free? Well, I just noticed that they had tied it right in front of me, so a couple of pulls and ta-da! What happened to your pants? Don't ask, it's a long story. Mm -hmm.